when you can tell a girl no or maybe just the theme of I'm not so easily sold on you, it implies that she has to bring more to the table than just a pulse and her What's up, man? Patrick James here, and welcome to another episode of Raw Dating Advice. First off, if you're not already subscribed to the Raw Dating Advice family, make sure you hit that subscribe button because in this video, I'm gonna give you five weird words that are proven to make women chase you in conversation, and trust me, these are not what you think. Now, before we get into the video, I will say that this video was inspired by my man Jeremy who emailed me a question, more of a ex explanation of a situation he encounters a lot. And it's basically, he gets into a conversation with a girl, maybe he approached her, maybe he got introduced to her, but more importantly, he finds himself running out of things to say in the moment. And because when he realizes he's running out of things to say, he gets all up in his own head and rather than continuing the interaction, he just leaves the interaction because in his world, not being another phone phone number in her phone from some random guy she never plans on texting again is a lot better of an alternative than embarrassing himself by running out of things to say and having an awkward interaction. What he's doing is he's playing not to lose rather than playing to win. And there's a reason why they call it the game because in the game, if you're playing not to lose, you will never win. So with these five words that I'm gonna teach you, you can use these in conversation. You can keep these in your back pocket for those moments where you feel like there's not enough tension in the interaction. And when I say tension, I mean sexual tension, flirty tension. But more importantly, it's gonna help add more momentum to the conversation to where now maybe she's the one who's investing more into the conversation, doing more of the talking herself. So that said, the first three words I wanna give you are very simple, but only if. Now, what do I mean by this? I mean that if you are promising to do something or if she asks you to do something, you say, okay, we can do that, dot, 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 but only if, and then you add whatever qualification you want. And here's a little pro tip, the more playful or fun or maybe just like, unexpected that you can make that qualification, the more flirty that it'll feel when you say this, and it won't feel super try hard, but it also won't feel super unnatural. And more importantly, when you do this, not only does it imply that you have standards for what you want in an inter interaction or what you want, but it also implies that you're not so easily sold. And just think about how that already makes you a lot more different than a lot of the guys out there who are putting women on pedestals and are very easily sold on women just because they find her physically attractive. But that's not you, right? Obviously not. So here are three examples that I came up with off the top of my head, but just imagine how you can use these examples and figure out how you can tailor these to a lot of different scenarios. All right, so here are a few examples. Maybe you guys are going back to your place after a first date, or maybe she's coming up to your place for a little party or ga gathering or a get together that you're throwing. You say, all right, you can come inside, but only if you promise to keep your hands to yourself. Or maybe she asks you to buy her a drink and you say, all right, I'll buy you a drink but only if you promise to tell me an interesting story, right? So many guys are so easily sold where they're like, oh, you're a hot girl, you're a hot girl, drink for you, drink for you, and it's like Oprah handing out free cars to everybody. Add that qualification because it implies that you have standards and it also implies that you're not gonna be happy about buying her a drink if she doesn't also inject fun energy into this conversation. And the third example, yeah, I'll meet up with you tonight or yeah, we can go out tonight, but only if you promise not to keep me out too late. I'm a good boy. All right, and in my book, 107 Proven Ways to Get the Girl, I call that a mental double take because if everything I've been doing up to this point implies that maybe I'm pretty adventurous, maybe I'm not necessarily a good boy, but also just the way I said that, obviously I'm joking when I say that, but more importantly, it kind of lowers her defenses. If you're texting a girl and she's like, yeah, I'm not sure if I can go out tonight or I don't know, I gotta get up early, you're literally doing that to her. You're literally saying, yeah, maybe we can go out tonight, but only if you promise to not keep me out too late, not keep me out past my bedtime. I'm a good boy, I gotta be home early, all right? You do something playful like that, it lowers their defenses, it injects more playful, fun energy into the conversation, but also it implies that you're not so easily sold simply because you added a qualification to what you wanted to do, all right? So those are three examples. Now let's get into the next word. The next word is very simple, don't. 
All right, now just think about this. If I told you not to think about four more years of Donald Trump as president, what are you instantly gonna do? You're gonna think about, fuck, Donald Trump, four more years, damn, right? Or if I told you, don't think about a pink elephant. When I tell you not to do it, you're naturally more inclined to do it, even if you don't want to. And this is because it's tempting. Now think about this. From the very, very beginning of time, the oldest book that we know of, the Bible, all right? What was the very first chapter in the book? right? They had one rule, Adam and Eve, don't eat the forbidden fruit. And what did Eve have to go and do? She had to go and eat that damn forbidden fruit simply because she was told not to do it. So don't underestimate the power of the word don't. Now here are three examples. Think about this. Don't even think about coming anywhere near me with those kissable lips. Don't even think about coming anywhere near me with those kissable lips. Or the next one, maybe you're at a bar, maybe you're at a party, or maybe you're at dinner and you have to go to the bathroom and you say, don't even think about putting anything in my drink while I'm gone. I've got my eyes on you, right? Don't even think about putting any roofies in my drink. I know the smell of roofies. And then you come back and you're like, all right, it doesn't smell like roofies. You're good, right? Something like that. It's fun, it's playful, but when you say don't, and basically the thing you're telling her not to do is something that implies that she's gonna go to any lengths just to try to seduce you, what kind of frames are you setting here? Even if it's playful, if she goes along with it in any way, shape, or form, she's falling into your frame of she's the one working for you, even if it's playful, and that's the fun part here, all right? And then the third example, if you're randomly texting her on like a Tuesday afternoon and you wanna spice up this text message conversation, don't even think about sending me any pictures that might distract me. I've gotta focus for the next few hours. Obviously, if you send her that, what is she most tempted to do in the moment? I'll let you fill in the blank. Now the last word, all right, so we did but only if, and then we did don't. The last one is no. And these lines, these examples I'm gonna give you are more of a theme to the conversation because think about it. What is the one thing that most beautiful women rarely, if ever, hear? It's no, think about it. They wanna skip the line at the club? Sure. They want free bottle service and free table service? Sure. Wait, you want me to stick it where? Sure, all right? Girls very rarely hear the word no. And when you can tell a girl no, or maybe just the theme of I'm not so easily sold on you, it implies that she has to bring more to the table than just a pulse and her pussy. So the first example is maybe something where maybe you're having a good, friendly, almost platonic conversation, and there's a little bit of an awkward silence, or maybe there's already a lot of tension and you just wanna ramp it up even more. You pause, you look at her and you say, you know what I like about you? She goes, what? You go, absolutely nothing. And then you turn away and you look off into the distance. And it's a playful thing that you're saying. Remember, you should have a playful and fun tonality here because you're basically injecting good emotions into the interaction while also implying that you have standards. The second example, maybe she says something that you like or maybe she did something nice for you. You say, you need to stop. I'm not trying to like anybody right now. My mother used to warn me about girls like you. Something like that, playful, fun, injects tension into the interaction, but also makes you stand out from all the other guys who have interview style, boring conversations with her. And then the last example, I can't even talk to you anymore. You're way too nice for me. I literally can't even talk to you anymore. You're way too nice for me. And again, a line like this, just the theme of rejecting her for one reason or another, especially if it's a playful reason, it naturally makes you a challenge and it implies that you're not so easily sold on her. And if you're seeing kind of the theme here to these five words that I've given you, they are basically natural ways in the conversation where you can playfully spark more sexual tension, more of that flirty banter with her, while also implying that you're not a man who's so easily sold that you also have standards. Now here's my challenge to you. I've given you a ton of examples of how you can use these five words in your interactions with girls to spike more sexual attention, but also make yourself more of an intriguing person to talk to in a way that gets her chasing you. So here's my challenge. I want you to literally go out for the next week and challenge yourself to use at least one of the examples that I gave you, one of the many, once a day in an interaction with a girl for the next week. And just make note of the subtle differences in your interactions with girls and then come back and leave a comment below this video on your experience after using these five words in your conversations. And if you're curious on more lines that you can say and just more ways to get women chasing you and attracted to you, especially in conversation, especially if this is a girl that you've never met before, then I highly recommend you grab my book, 107 Proven Ways to Get the Girl, at the website in the description 
or that I put on the screen right here. Copies are currently free. All I ask is that you help cover the small shipping and handling costs and we'll ship this book to you anywhere in the world. All right, man. So that said, if you're not already subscribed to the Raw Dating Advice family, then hit that subscribe button. Leave us a thumbs up if you like this video and I will see you in the next video. Peace out, man.